Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I'm live. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come on in and join me. Tonight we're going to do like a webinar format and we're going to be talking about the spiritual leader's lifestyle, how to make money while helping others with your spirituality. Is this of interest to you? I hope it is. Come on in and join me and let me know what questions you have. What's a spiritual leader? What's a lifestyle for that? How do you get paid? Some of these questions as spiritual healers, we often have. So I'm asking you to come on in tonight, spend a little time with me. We're going to go through these points and open up to this discussion. Hey, Amy, come on in. Give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and share this too with others as well. It helps people find it when you share it. So we're going to be talking tonight. We're going to spend some time on spiritual leadership. What is that all about? Why we even need it? And how you can get paid for doing these things. Come on in. We've got an awesome day of energy today. It's one of the luckiest days of the year. The largest bodies of the solar system are lining up. Lots of expansive energy going on. Lots of reasons to open up, which is one of my reasons for coming forward today to share this information. Lots of growth. Lots of energy opening up. And I really want to stand tall in this. And I really want to stand on this platform tonight of what is a spiritual leader? Why do we need it? And how can we live this kind of lifestyle? What are your feelings about charging for spiritual work? Do you feel strange? Do you feel like you should be giving away your work? We're going to talk about that. So come on in and join me tonight for a few minutes. As we open up, we understand the energy of what's going on around us. And we bring that energy in behind us. I've been very excited about this energy today. Feeling that expansive energy and opening up to sharing this work with you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and share this. So if you're online, you could do me a favor, share it as well. Invite people in. Maybe you know other healers. Maybe you know other people struggling with this issue of how to charge. Feeling like because they're spiritual, they can't. And even like how do you take all these gifts and you put them together so that you can live this kind of lifestyle and you can be of service and helping others. All right, I'm seeing it here on Facebook. I'm just going to go ahead and share it so that everybody can find it. Do the same for me if you would. It's always hard to find sometimes. Here we go. Into the group, into the Empowered Spirit Circle. Come join me over there if you're not already a part of the group. I would love for you to come join us. I've had a bunch of people sign in today. I really do want to share this with you guys. I want to talk about why I want to share it, and I really just want to offer it to you and to anybody else that you might know that could use this kind of training, this kind of understanding, as we go about opening up to this expansive energy. We've got the biggest planets of the, of the solar system uniting the sun and Jupiter coming forward. And this just really opens us up to a lot, a lot, a lot of information. A lot of expansive energy, a lot of prosperity, a lot of spiritual development as well. And that's what I'm talking about right now. Spiritual development. Is this important to you? Is this something that you would like to seek more of? All right. So I just opened up this energy tonight with a card from um, Wisdoms of the Oracles. And I just love it when it's just in alignment. Because the card that turned over was new life. All right. So it's a beautiful card for today's energy, for opening up the world. Look at that. Just awakening, opening up. Opening up to that new life of energy. What is your new life about? What does today bring forward for you that you can open up with your dreams, with the work that you've been doing? Maybe you have been doing a lot of trainings. Maybe you've gathered a lot of modalities. Now what? Now what do we do with all of that? And that's what we're going to talk about. All right. So I just wanted to also share that um, one of the reasons today is so important to me is because it really sealed in some information for me. It really allowed me to really kind of make another vow to myself, take another step forward in my mission. Back in um, back in September 11th, when I was living in New York, 9-11, Catherine came to me, my teacher at the time, and said, Terry, we need people like you to step forward and help humanity. And so I did at that time. I was very affected by 9-11. I had been studying Reiki energy. I had been learning more about my own spirituality. And so I felt I was called to do this at the time. And so I did. I stepped up to help mankind. I became a Reiki master teacher. I became an interfaith minister because I did want to help serve. I did want to help people raise the vibration and open up to their passions, to their life, to the love of who they are. Instead of being caught in a world where we're just drudging our day-to-day -day stuff because we have to make a living or we're doing what we're supposed to do. 
So this energy today has kind of been building for me, and what a great way to mark a point, is really helping me to stand up and to support you, to be an advocate for your spirit. Many of you have been studying with me. We've been learning modalities, and now it's time to take it to the next level, and that's what I want to support you in. And I want to talk about what is a spiritual leader. Spiritual leaders are so important today. They really are. There's a vast population growing that is the spiritual but not religious population out there. And there's not a lot of places for them to get help. Maybe they're hanging out at yoga centers or maybe they have a personal guru, but most of them are doing it alone. And this is the population that is growing. And this is the population that I've been working with here in Birmingham. Is this population that's growing and that needs that guidance. So first off, let's just, um, let's just say, what do you know about a spiritual leader? What does that mean to you? Give me some comments below, all right? Let me know you're here. Do you know what that is? Are you living a spiritual lifestyle? Give me a hashtag, yes, spiritual lifestyle, if that is what you are doing. And we're going to answer that question. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is a spiritual leader? Who knows? Comment below. Let me know you're out there. Let me know if this is important to you. How does a spiritual leader live? Does it live off in the woods, out in a cave, surrounded by isolation? I don't think so. How can that help serve? I think we need those in our lives, but I don't think that's how they live. How does a spiritual live, leader live in your mind? What does that mean to you? Right? What does that mean? Just take a nice deep inhale and imagine yourself being a spiritual leader. What would that look like? Inhale and exhale out. How do you vision that? To me, a spiritual leader is somebody that really lives by universal principles, that is really honest with themselves, that has gratitude, that respects all life, right? That opens up to being responsible for their body, their mind, and their spirit. To me, that's what a spiritual leader is all about. And also, very important, is really dedicated to helping others open up to their spirituality, helping others move through their struggles, helping support them along this path by really being that kind of person, by being that person with compassion, with understanding, and with the tools to do it. And also the other part of this equation is really a desire and a purpose. Kind of like what I said before about taking this to the next level, helping humanity at this time, helping to raise the vibration all around us. To me, that's what a spiritual leader is about. Somebody that you can go to with your troubles that can understand without judgment of what you're going through. Somebody that can understand who's lived it, who has the experience of it, very important, right? Who really lives by these principles as well. Someone that has a meditation practice. Someone that does spend time being quiet, being outside, drawing from the earth energies. To me, that's what I seek, and those are the teachers that I surround myself with. What about you? Who do you surround yourself with when it comes to spiritual teachers? Who is that for you? That's the question that we put forward right now. I know for myself that this practice has taken many hours of my own practice of sitting still, being quiet, being out in the woods, and that's how I learn. Those are the lessons that then I turn around and share with other people, and that's what I think spiritual leadership is all about. Yes, we need people to do ceremonies. Yes, we need people to help us in life. Yes, we need people to help us through birth, through death, through weddings, through marriage. We need all of those kind of things, but it's not necessarily having to be in the religious sector anymore. A lot of that is shifting and changing. If you search it spiritual but not religious, you'll find it is one of the fasting growing populations out there who do need guidance, who do need help in this fashion. People are tired of the old way of taking medicines and thinking that everything is fine. It's not that way. We have to reach down really deep into our spirit. We really do. I know many of you have been out there. You've been taking my classes. You've been in the Empowered Spirit program. And maybe you haven't been able to implement it. That's what this is going to help you with as well. When you think about what is it that you can do to step forward along this path, right? When we go to yoga classes, we look at our teachers, right? And we see how they are as well. This is part of it too. People that live by these principles is very important for it to come forward at this time. But then there's another part of this equation, right? Another part of the topic of this Facebook Live is how do you get paid? How does that work out for you? What do you think about that? Does it feel awkward? To have spiritual gifts and to ask for money? Is that hard for you? Just kind of wanted to share a little bit. Maybe you don't quite know this about me, but there is a part of me that offers a lot of service work. All right. I'm also known to have high ticket items and high ticket packages, right? I have both. And some of my private service work has to do with preparing bodies for death, 
doing the ceremonies for that, also helping people to die. That's part of the service work I do. But if I didn't have my other work that I charge for, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to afford the time. I wouldn't be able to afford the ability to do it and to offer those kind of services. We have to have both. So I have to make a choice. And so the choice is of what part of my work that I need to charge for. I've been called out. I've been called out for charging for spiritual work before. I've studied Native American traditions. And I've been called out in the middle of a TP ceremony. How dare you charge? Right? Now, if you study Reiki, you know that's one of the principles of Reiki is that we do charge. It's not the way it used to be with Native American culture. I sometimes wish it was where we're all part of that community and everybody has a job and everybody contributes. And that's a great deal of why that wasn't a charged or a paid for ceremony. In our society, it's much different. People get things for free. They don't show up. They don't give value to it. So we do have that percept, especially in Reiki, that there has to be an exchange. So what is it for you? Is it hard for you to do that? Do you feel bad? As I look at it, if I didn't do the work and I couldn't get paid, I couldn't help and serve. So if I can get paid, the more work I do, the more work I can serve, the more I can turn around and help others in need. That's how I look at it. And I think it's a very important aspect too. So we have to have those things that we can charge for. We have to know what our self-worth is. We also have to know how important the transformation is that we're offering people. Have you ever looked at it like that? I don't really work on that per hour wage. I work on transformation. How can I help you transform your life? How can I bring these spiritual tools into making a difference for where you stand right now? That's what we get into when we talk about a spiritual leader's lifestyle and how to get paid. Yes, what's the transformation? Who are you serving? Why are you serving? All right, it's just like any other profession, really, except that we have some different values out there. We work in the spirit world. All right, if you were doing a bakery, right, you want to feed people, you're still going to charge. And then there are people that you can donate food to. It's the same thing. So some of that is limiting beliefs, and I know I've had a lot of controversy about it. Oh, I can't charge. What do you think? Give me a hashtag below. Can you charge or can you not? What is it you think about that? I think it's a really important aspect to look at. Sometimes money and energy like that is charged into, is connected into our self-worth. What is it for you? All right, what is it for you? Let me know below. What is it for you in terms of how you charge and how you value your work? Do you judge it on the results? Do you judge it on how good you are? What is it for you? How do you go about charging for these things? If you have those limited beliefs like, oh, I can't charge for that. That's service work. How are you going to live? Then you can't serve people if that's the way you look at it. Really important to understand that. Really important. Money is an energy. So where is that relationship to you? What beliefs do you bring forward when you think about charging for your work? All right. It's like some of us go to a day job, right? We clock in. We have the hours. We get paid. We know what that's about. But when you work for yourself, how do you do that? How do you do that? A lot of it's mindset. A lot of it's recognizing what are those transformations that you're offering the world. All right. You also have to think about the lifestyle that you are living. Are you doing your practice? What did it take to get to you to do that practice? And then how can you share that with others? That's like your credentials, right? That's your schooling. We have to pay for that. Wouldn't it be great not to have to pay for that? Then we wouldn't have to pay for anything. Then we wouldn't have to charge anything. Not the way the world works, right? Not the way the world works as we know it. So being able to stand up to that is really important. Getting those limited beliefs out of the way. That's where the tapping comes in, right? Those of you that have worked with me know that. We tap it out. We get rid of it. Because when we look at the transformation, it's priceless. I know a lot of people I've worked with, that transformation is huge. It comes out. They change their life. They change their direction. That's priceless, right? That's what we look at. We look at where that transformation is. We look at how we can serve. And then we bring it into the value that we bring to the table. You know, what was your education? What have you lived? What are your life experiences? How can you help? These are all the things that we look at. When you live a spiritual leader's lifestyle, it's not really going to be a lifestyle that you're living in a mansion, hanging out by the swimming pool, not having to work very much, right? We know that. We definitely know that. Give me a thumbs up for that. We know that. But you can make a living. And you can have a lifestyle that suits you, your body, your mind, your spirit, that suits that self-care, that loving, that vibration of spirit, being in that energy all the time. You can live like that. And you can live by the comforts that you want. That's your choice. You don't have to starve. You don't have to live in poverty. That's like the artist starving, right? No, not necessary. Not necessary at all. You can charge for the things that you make, that you create, that you do, 
Very important to understand this. And I think that's really important when we look at that lifestyle. All right? So we're not talking, like I said, like you're going to live on a mansion, but you can sustain the work that you do. And when you live from your purpose, whole nother level of depth that you're working from, a whole nother level that you bring to the table in the work that you do. And then it is a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle when you can help people open up to their spirit, when you can work in that manner, so much more opens up. What do you think about that? Is that easy for you to do or are you still struggling with that? Give me a hashtag below. Hashtag easy, hashtag struggling. Which is it for you? I really would like to know. I know for myself, I did struggle with it. In fact, part of the reason that I don't do so much of some of the work I do is because I didn't know how to charge. And so then I had to go down another pathway to figure out. So my work, empowering spirit, empowering people to open up to who they are, that helped me to understand that so that I could get behind it and help others empower their spirit. And then it opens me up to having some time to do some of that service work. I think we need both. I really do. I think we need both. What about you? What do you think? I think that's really important. When we look at that kind of lifestyle that we're living, getting paid for the work that we're doing, very important. All right, and I don't think that we have to starve or we have to deprive ourselves just because the work is spiritual. If you're working in healthcare, if you're working in medicine, if you're working in nutrition, all very important, right? Even when we get to, you know, like, hey, Laurie, I see you and Amy, when you're working with astrology too, you're helping people, you are serving, all right? Amy, I know you'd work with, with uh, the um, henna, the tattooing and all, that's sacred geometry. You're empowering people as well. All right, sometimes it's easy to put a price on it and sometimes it's not. So it really depends on what kind of work that you have. But just because we're spiritual does not mean you don't have to charge. It's quite the opposite. If nobody charged for the work, this work would not be out there for people to understand and to open up to. And this population of spiritual but not religious would not have anybody to help them at all. Right? Doesn't it make sense? Yes, it's taken me a little bit of time to work through this, but as my work is growing and expanding, I have seen all the difference out there, which is why I am able to open up and share these practices with you. I do this full time. It is a choice. And yes, I've almost fallen on my face a couple of times, but I've learned how to deal with it. I've learned how to pick myself up and build this business, which is what I want to share with you guys and support all of you in doing, those that choose to do it. Not everybody that comes to me wants to. I'll be honest, not everybody wants to have a spiritual lifestyle, but there are many that do. I would say four out of 10 people that I serve really do. And that's the population I'm speaking to right now so that I can help you do this. I can help you stand up, live this lifestyle, serve and help at a deeper level of who you are, especially if you're stuck in a job that you really don't want, but just as paying the bills. Why not cross over? It's kind of what I did. I transitioned out of my job struggled a little bit and now things are doing pretty well it's always a challenge when you work for yourself i'm not going to say it's magic it's always a challenge but you can learn how to charge and it starts with understanding that money is an energy the work you do is just as important as anybody else's and helping people to open up their spirit i don't know maybe it's a little bit more how can people go forward without knowing their spirit i think that's really huge and really important so i'm offering you this challenge now can you do that Give me a hashtag. Let me know if you can. Is it easy to charge or is it a struggle for you? Can you live a spiritual leader's lifestyle? Can you be dedicated to your spirit, to meditating, to living in a, in a wholesome way, to living by universal principles, to really being part of the populations that's helping to raise mankind right now? Can you do that? That is what the lifestyle is about. And then finding the tools and techniques to really open up and serve. Very important. We can't give away our work. It's an energy. Otherwise, what's going to happen? You're going to be imbalanced. You're going to feel burnt out. You're going to be over giving and not receiving. Very important to balance these energies. Very important. And there are tools and techniques to work on it, right? There really are. Of course, tapping. We all know I'm a tapper, shower tapper, hashtag shower tapper. And you tap it out until you recognize that the work you do is of service, right? It is of service. And that's huge. The transformation you offer people is of service, right? I mean, Laurie, with your, your astrology readings, right? You're offering people huge services about themselves. You're giving them a glimpse into the blueprint of their lives. That is really priceless. And yet we put a price tag on it and we offer it and we do it. People want it. So much of what we're doing in this lifestyle, intuition, oracle readings, astrology reading, massage therapy, Reiki therapy, it's working at a very deep spiritual level. And that's what is really important right now that we open this up. 
I know that, I know in my community as well, the whole religion thing is just being outdated, all right? There's a big, huge shift in the population. Some people are leaving, some people are unhappy. There's a lot of judgment, a lot of defensiveness, and that whole thing is just breaking down. It really is, and it's really making me really stand up more for being spiritual but not religious. Yes, I checked it on my dating site. I did. I admit I've been out there, and many people are checking it too. So what does that mean, right? What are we going to do about that? Let's gather this energy and let's help people open up to their spirituality. We need people to come forward at this time. We really do. We all know that. Look at the struggles of the world out there. And this is what I am really standing up for. Our political system is a mess. Mother Earth is crying. We need to come forward at this time to have the ceremonies of the Earth, to have the life ceremonies that we can celebrate these things that we've gone through, to have ways to meditate, to have ways to get rid of our addictions, right? Beyond medicines, beyond drugs, right? We need it. Tapping into ourselves is really a great gift. Today I spent a a great day in, in Kundalini this morning. It was really beautiful, opening up to creativity, inspiring that spirit to open up, to release the emotions that keep us trapped. That's what this work is all about, helping people to dig deeper into who they truly are. So I'm asking you to think about it for yourself. Are you ready to step up to this kind of lifestyle? Are you ready to open up and learn how you can charge for the gifts that you have? That is what I am holding this space for, and that is what I'm opening up this energy on this beautiful, expansive day. The universe is calling me to do it. I could just go on and do what I'm doing. I could go on and just have clients and treatment and not teach what I know. That's not what I'm about. No. And I know many of you know that, that have worked with me. I teach you what I know. I help you. I want you out there doing this work. I want a community of like-minded people. And that is what I am really offering right now. Let's learn these skills. Let's stand up as leaders. Let's open the door, which is what I am doing, opening a door to a spiritual leadership training program. Yes, that is what this is leading up to, a spiritual leader training program. It's a year-long program where I am going to help you step up to the plate, open your doors, find a way to charge, pull your packages and all your gifts together and get paid for doing them. No different than an artist, no different than a baker, no different than a medical technician or a doctor or a lawyer. None, none of that is any different than the work that we do. It's just different. And it's going to depend on us to get out there and make this change. Yes, I know I'm up for it, and so I am. I'm opening the door. Tonight, as a matter of fact, many of you have talked to, and now's the time to really jump in. Now's the time to make that commitment to do it. It's a year-long training. All right, it's a year long. It's going to start in January. So yes, but <laughs> we have some work to do to prepare to get there. We have some review work. We got to make sure everybody's on the same page. That's going to be in December. We have to get ready and prepare for this time. So I'm asking you to really think about it. Let me know if you have questions. I know I've reached out and called many of you. If I haven't called you yet, reach out to me. Give me a comment below and let's talk about it. Let's see how we can take this next level for you to the next level as well. It's going to be a great group. It's, a, it's going to be a group program. I know most of my work is private mentoring, and now I'm pulling from all of that and getting you all together. All right? We're going to meet second weekend of every month in person, and then we'll have calls on Zoom. Materials will be on online. You're going to have assignments. You're going to have reading materials. You're going to have preparations. You're going to be doing meditations and leading the group, practicing with each other all the way through. And the greatest part, too, is I am going to stand behind the business aspects and teach you how to be a business person with this as well. How you can get paid for these gifts. Very important. Which is what all of this is about. We're going to work those business skills all the way in from the get-go. All right? Laurie, you know I'm one to push. And I will be pushing you guys to get out there and do this kind of work. So that we can make a change. Because ultimately, that is what it's about. Making a change in our community. We all have communities. This work is very creative and it can open up to so many different communities. I wish I could serve everybody. I wish I could teach everybody. I know I can't do this alone. I am calling you to stand up with me and do this work together. For whatever community you're in, whether you're here, you can do this online too if you're watching this and you're not in the Birmingham area. Wherever you are, I'm calling you to stand up at this time, to serve in your community, to stand in a greater capacity, to believe that humanity can shift. That's exactly what it is. So I will be having a private Facebook group. Actually, I'm going to do a private Zoom call next week. If you have questions, we'll do a question and answer. You can come on and ask me any kind of question you want, all the details, especially if I haven't talked to you. 
But for those of you that have heard me talk about this, all right, there is a website page that you can go to. And actually, as an early discount, what I'm going to do is break up those payments for you. The deposit payment will be broken up, all right? It's going to make it easy. That will go away in a week, all right? That will go away by November 3rd. So we'll have one more call now, now on November 2nd. And by November 3rd, that will go away. So I am encouraging you to sign up, make it easy for yourself, do the payment plans. Of course, there's bonuses. You will already get the books. We're going to start with some books. Right away, we're going to be using this Reiki for Life book. If you sign up between now and November 3rd, you're going to get the cards too. How much fun. And then the book, we already are going to have assignments. She's great. Penelope Quest. Very good. We're going to be going through this book and reviewing Reiki 1 and Reiki 2. Really important. Then we're also going to be getting Gabby's book, The Universe Has Your Back, and Daniel Laporte, The White House Truth. I will ship these to you. We're going to be using these to draw on for our meditations and for the opening and closings that you will do in class. Lots of fun. Lots of great work. Opportunity to go through and really pull out the important points. We're also going to be doing the December 3 classes, Reiki 1, 2, Review. You're also going to be getting three bonus energy focuses for me that you can use throughout the entire course whenever you want. And also, too, I'm going to be doing a soul purpose, life purpose with you. So those are some of the bonuses. But give me a call and let me know how this fits for you. Let me know if you have questions. And like I said, if you've already been thinking about it and you want to get in on that early discount payment or, or payment split, however you want to call it, payment plan, then you can do that by going to that link on the website, all right? We got to get this going because we have lots of preparation work. We're starting up at Gorm's Point for the first retreat, but we have to get prepared and get it all ready so we're all kind of jumping in together. Let me know if you have questions. Regardless of whether you do join me or not, I am still saying, and I will still stand on this soapbox for a long time, the world needs spiritual leaders to come forward. We need to raise the vibration of humanity right now. We need to make a change in our political system. We need to give back to that compassion for each other, the caring, the equality. I am you and you are me. Very important that we start to stand up and live by these principles right now. Honoring each other, gratitude for all life, honoring our Mother Earth. These are exactly the things we'll be studying for the year and exactly the mastery that we will be living as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I um, hope this webinar has been informative, enjoyed it, however you want to look at it, all right? Take this with you and see how this sits with you right now as we're under these great aspects of the cosmos. See if you can find it in your own ability to stand up and help serve humanity right now. Let me know if you have any questions, post below. I'll be sending out an email about the Zoom call for more questions. And if you want to know more, Private message me, reach out, email me, leave me a comment in the group. I want to hear from you. I really do. And I want to bring this forward from my heart to yours. I am very sincere about helping you get out there and live your purpose as well. I feel that that is one of the greatest things I can offer. To me, there's nothing greater when I see people make this transformation and open up to their deepest gifts. So I'll leave you with that. Take this energy of your new life, this cosmic energy going on, sit with this energy and see where it is for you. Please do reach out, look for another email for the Zoom call, click on the link above, go ahead, commit. Today's a perfect day. The cosmos is begging you to do that as well. Open up. It's expansive. It's lucky. It's prosperity. All for a higher good. Thanks for joining me. From my heart to yours, take a deep inhale and just exhale out, all for the highest good. Be true, be honest, be empowered to your spirit. Namaste. Thank you.